Hey guys, to start this video, uh, I want to show my Mike Tyson creation in action against another one of my creations, the Predator Don Fry in his backyard brawl. It's a great fight and uh, it'll lead up to the calf creation process in the main video. Enjoy! Let's go! 
Hey guys, how you doing? As requested, here's my version of Mike Tyson. This is uh, the 2000 plus era Mike Tyson when he shaved his head when he got a bit older, you know. Um, let's uh, edit this dude and show you how I created him. Now, the fighter type. I find um, if I go to Showboat, he has a lot, he, he, his punches look a lot better. I know you, you, most people will go with that one, but I find he, he just doesn't look as good when he moves. You know, probably has more devastating punches and whatnot. But I go with that one because it's uh, his reactions are quicker and his punches quicker. Seems to do. So let's go with that one. General information: Mike Tyson, of course. I've nicknamed him Iron, which is in the game. Mike Tyson MMA, New York. He's from the Catskills or somewhere in uh, New York. Done him as age 30 because you know this is the next era for Mike Tyson when all the tattoos came about. 178 centimeters, five foot ten. 105 kilograms heavyweight. He's orthodox. Never mind about the voice. The voices are stupid. <laughs> um, clothing. It's just the UFC Apex kit. Let's go to the bottoms. Here we just, just this last one. Very limited in this game what you can put on your fight, you know what I mean? You can go for a longer shots, but that's not Tyson's luck, is it? I mean Tyson's shots are in the game, but you can't select them. I mean what the fuck? We should be free. Okay. Style, of course. I mean, do I really need to show you that? He looks the part there, doesn't he? My version of Mike Tyson. Now, I have used a preset head that most people, or if not every person who's ever created Mike Tyson, has used. But these are, all these sliders of the face is my own from start to finish. Um, and I think I've done a pretty decent job. Um, appearance. Now, let's go to the tattoos before I do anything. Of course, we've got that for the body there, as you can see. And that is number Celtic Tribal number 14. For the side of the head there. Now, you can make that, position that and shape that how you want. But that is the most obvious one to use for that uh, tattoo, that famous tattoo that he has. I think this is probably my best creation so far. Let me know what you think. Left arm. We've got, uh, oh yes, yeah, there she is on the inside. I forgot, I thought, I was looking right on the outside of the arm. There she is on the inside. 
and we've got that skull to represent what he's really got in his arm. Of course, you've got to, you know, you've got to improvise. And the lettering is the Kigali front, uh, font, I should say. Right arm. Right arm. <laughs> now we can do it. Once again, I've used the Kigali font for the words Mao. Now we have a picture of Chairman Mao, the old Chinese leader, leader of years ago, but we have to, once again, we have to improvise. So I've used this one. Angels, Demons, number six. I'm sure if you play this game, you're very familiar with these tattoos. You know where to find them. Okay. Left leg, nothing there. Right leg, nothing there. Okay. They are the tattoos, the body style is body number four. This is, I mean, I remember that from UC4 and it looked so, it looks the same in the icon there, in the, the you know, the little image, the, uh, I forget the name of it, the thumbnail. <laughs> Basically the thumbnail of the image looks the same as UC4, but when you put it on your fighter, it looks different to it did in UC4. It's, it, looks, it looks a lot better actually, and it suits Tyson's build, I think. I just wish you could have a wider neck, you know, you could widen the neck a little bit. Because he had a 19 inch step, this guy. He's, you know, he's, he used to do a lot of training on his neck because, you know, the neck's a good uh, power absorber. It's a good uh, chuck absorber, I should say. Well, I think he trained his neck a lot to help in his uh, resistance of punches to the chin. Hair. Style, style number one, of course, no hair. Eyebrows, style number two. Face, style number 10. You can have um, that one as well. Looks a bit too clean there for my liking, you, you know. <laughs> that doesn't look like him at all. But let's stick with that one, facial hair 10. Body style. Uh, sorry, hair on the body. Uh, just give him a little bit of hair. That's optional. You know, you do get hair here as you get older. I should know. <laughs> right, let's go with the skin tone. The skin tone, hue 33, saturation, saturation even 89, brightness 17. Okay, if you think know, that's right for Tyson? Let me know if you think it looks like uh, some guy that lives around the corner. <laughs> Let me know, but I think that looks really decent in terms of his skin tone. Okay, so the all important head, here we go. Sculpts, it's template number, nearly. It's template number 17, as I'm sure quite a few. Of. That's the perfect, perfect face to build from, for Mike Tyson. As many people who've done Mike Tyson will tell you. So let's sculpt this face, shall we? Just follow the sliders, pause the video when necessary. Okay, lastly we have common eyes brown, we can have dark brown, or we can have just regular brown, I think they look good enough. And that is how I created my version of Mike Tyson, the slightly older version from the 2000 era, 2000 plus era. So that's how I'll probably title this video, how to make the Mike Tyson 2000 plus era version of this iconic and legendary fighter the man who everybody talks about when it comes to boxing iron mike tyson thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one